everyone, it's Sadie, and it's Sunday again, and this week's subject, as selected by Jess, is coming out. So, my experience with coming out. Um, I didn't until I was 33, and had things not worked out the way that they did, I very easily um, may not have come out. Um, Let's see, I'll go back a ways, and um, it wasn't until I had, I was actually living in another state, and I had the opportunity to better um, explore my options, I guess. Um, I had gotten away from family and friends and felt more comfortable with just being able to be myself, and I don't know at the time, I was still really scared, um, and that's a large part of it, of why it had taken me so long to come out, uh, was just fear, um, but anyway, I had a friend that seemed rather adamant about, um, trying to figure out what the heck was wrong with me why I was so unhappy all of the time, and um, we'd had many discussions over many years trying to figure things out, and uh, it's probably a combination of two different things. Um, one of them he had approached uh, for quite a long time in, basically ass just assuming that I was gay and that I was just afraid to come out. So that was basically the angle that he had approached for uh, many years, was basically trying to, I guess, get me to come out. Um, there was definitely a lot more to it than that, obviously. Um, and I think the other one was more a trying to just help me to, I guess, find my own happiness was the uh, spiritual angle. But what I ended up finding was that no matter what I did, I just, I could not, I couldn't be happy unless I was true to myself. So it, it made no sense at all trying to get into all these other different things and, and try to figure out what was right for me when, you know, I really wasn't doing what was right for me, so, um, I'm, I'm more on that track now than I was with any amount of, uh, searching previously, so, I figure once I get myself figured out, um, get all this stuff squared away, then I should be in a much better uh, position to explore those other options, but for the time being, I'm doing what I need to do. Um, I'm happy, much happier than I had been. Um, no, about, no doubt notice uh, this week that I'm attempting to use my voice again. I had been using it uh, pretty much full time up until uh, I had my last dental work done. And I couldn't talk for a while afterwards, so I ended up, uh, when I could speak, I really didn't care a whole lot about uh, how I sounded, so. Um, I came out to my best friend uh, a little over four months ago. And um, I'm grateful that he did uh, push me as hard as he did. Um, I was really scared. I was I was very very scared to come out. Um, and I waited several weeks um, before finally coming out to my mom. Um, actually, the there were some incidents. Um, that came up, and I had told my mom that uh, we really needed to sit down and have a talk, and I kind of figured that she would blow it off, and um, didn't really expect much of it, but the very next morning when I got off work, I 
showed up and uh, my mom's generally asleep but I showed up and uh, she's wide awake sitting on the couch it wasn't at all what she thought it was going to be and I sat there for at least uh, 30 minutes just shaking uncontrollably because I was so afraid to come out I was so afraid to say anything at all and then when I finally did uh, my mom she just looked at me and she said I know I wish you would have said something earlier and at that point I was I don't remember exactly what I said but it was along the lines of, so I've been sitting here shaking for the past half an hour for nothing um, but she gave me a hug told me that she was completely supportive and she's been my main supporter ever since um, she's tried to educate herself as much as possible um, she's been reading as much as she can um, concerning tran um, gender issues I guess um, she's actually looking to take some um, online courses uh, with uh, gender gender identity and uh, sexuality um, actually she was uh, what was she into I don't remember specifically something to do with nature and because uh, she after my coming out she de decided to uh, change her course of study I guess now she's studying me um, where I've only actually told two people but it's those two people that have told other people and I've been kind of amazed to find out some of the people that have learned over time but to my knowledge there hasn't been anyone that's had a negative reaction I guess just in knowing me um, throughout my life for however long it's just been one of those things that people just seem to accept it's you know, I'm you know they find out I'm transgender and it's like okay so he wants to be a girl it's, it just it seems to make sense to people I guess or it just doesn't seem all that weird you know it's not like I went from being super macho masculine to wanting to be all femme um, it's just always been something about my mannerisms and the way um, I guess I present myself I don't know but I think it tends to be more that people assume that I'm gay um, which I'm not going to get into but I haven't entirely figured out my own sexuality um, so I'm more asexual at the moment but um, as far as gender identity um, definitely female um, I've base I've spent um, the majority of my life hiding hiding who I actually am and who I want to be I'm also looking forward to this winter because it's going to be a whole lot easier to conceal um, so uh, in winter time I'm going to try uh, presenting in public more. I've presented in public once so far. I uh, really liked it. It was like uh, the amount of freedom I've never really experienced before. I'm still very new to the process. Uh, so I was trying to figure out what I like and dislike and what to do and not to do. and. Um, Overall, the coming out process for me has been very positive. I'm glad that I didn't did it, and like I said, had things not worked out the way that they did, I very easily could have been still trapped and unhappy and fearful. And anyway, that's not where I'm at right now. So I'm much much happier and. Um, that's my own coming out story. It's been interesting. So, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I, I think I need to go. So, 
Everyone take care, and I will talk to everyone next week. Bye.